The story of a young girl who sees visions in a movie from 1943 is quite remarkable. It follows her journey as she deals with doubters from the church and government. There are many surprising and funny moments throughout the film that make it interesting. If you're interested in a tale that mixes laughter, surprise, and sadness, you should check it out. A truly special film, The Song of Bernadette is a masterpiece in religious cinema. It tells the fascinating story of Bernadette Salberis and the incredible events at Lourdes in 1852. The movie skillfully mixes real history with an engaging plot, leaving a lasting impact on viewers. Bernadette started having visions when she was only 14 years old, despite struggling with learning. Even an atheist doctor, Duzos, and many others closely watched her encounters at Massabiel's cave. The film shows her life, ending with her sad death at the age of 44. Bernadette often said that the lady told her, you won't be happy in this life, just in the next, making people think about what happens after we die according to the Catholic Church. Jennifer Jones gives an outstanding performance, winning an Academy Award for her role. The movie's detailed recreation of a French village adds to its realism. Great acting by Charles Bickford, Vincent Price, and Gladys Cooper also helps make this one of the best religious films ever made. In short, The Song of Bernadette is a fantastic movie that combines real history, a gripping story, and brilliant acting. It explores faith, visions, and Bernadette's life in a thoughtful way, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Vincent Price, at 52 years old, served as the visual inspiration for the original illustrations of the comic book superhero Dr. Strange Stephen Strange, created in 1963. Jennifer Jones, daughter of Mary Jennifer Selznick, faced tragedy when her daughter plunged to her death from the 22nd floor of a hotel in West Los Angeles in 1976, while Jennifer was visiting her dying father in Tulsa, Oklahoma. An autopsy revealed traces of morphine, barbiturates, and alcohol in her system, leading to the ruling of suicide. Vincent Price once recounted an encounter with a fan on a flight to Barcelona for a fantasy film festival. Mistaken for Boris Karloff, he graciously brought the actor back to life to fulfill the fan's request for an autograph, keeping the memory alive for the fan. In the world of movies, there's a fascinating story about a film from 1943, The Song of Bernadette. In it, there were some interesting facts about the actors. For instance, Anne Revere was almost cast in a famous role in another movie, but it went to someone else. Vincent Price had a family connection to a baking powder company, which added a unique layer to his background. Patricia Morrison, on the other hand, embarked on her Hollywood journey alongside her mom, igniting her acting career in the glitzy city of dreams. These details give us a peek into the lives of the people in the movie, offering a glimpse behind the curtain of stardom and celluloid glamour. Each actor brought their own personal story and experiences to their roles, enriching the narrative of the Song of Bernadette with layers of depth and authenticity. It's these behind-the-scenes tidbits that add richness to our understanding of the film and the individuals who brought it to life on screen. In a notable scene from the movie, Dickie Moore shared his amusing anecdote about kissing Shirley Temple, mentioning how it was his first kiss, while Temple, in her autobiography, quipped about her prior experience and professional demeanor during the scene. William Smith, known as the training partner of Larry Scott, had a significant role behind the scenes. Director Henry King personally oversaw screen tests, directing actresses to focus on a shining light, where Jennifer Jones stood out for her ability to truly see beyond the camera. In the early 1940s, a talented actress received her first Oscar nomination for her role in a notable film. This nomination marked the beginning of a series of nods for her outstanding performances over the years. Her streak included recognition for subsequent movies, ultimately earning her the prestigious award for one of her roles. Additionally, she received another nomination for a different film later on. The film made its television debut on a well-known program, becoming the oldest movie ever featured on the show. Most of the films aired on this program were from a later time period, making this particular movie a unique addition due to its earlier release date. During the filming of another project, one of the actors encountered a serious health issue, bringing production to a halt for a period of time. In the film, Maroney Olsen, despite claims about his real name, maintained his identity. He portrayed a character in the Song of Bernadette. Patricia Morrison, who had a role in the 1943 movie, later appeared in The Sound of Music in Los Angeles. Jennifer Jones, another actress in the film, tied the knot with Norton Simon aboard a yacht in England. The Song of Bernadette features a cast with diverse experiences and backgrounds contributing to its cinematic appeal and legacy. In Italy, almost all her movies had someone else providing the voices like Lydia Simonski or Ghia Cristiani. 
Only once did Paolo Barber do the dubbing, and that was for The Mark of Zorro. Interestingly, the cool poster image of her was made by the famous artist Norman Rockwell, adding another cool thing to her movies. It's cool to know that Alan Napier and George Sanders acted together in eight movies. Some of these are The House of the Seven Gables, Appointment in Berlin, Action in Arabia, Hangover Square, The Strange Woman, Forever Amber, Lord, and Moonfleet. They did lots of stuff together, making their movies more interesting. These kinds of partnerships are nice for the audience. These details show how lots of people and talents work together to make her movies. Every time someone did the dubbing, made a poster, or acted together on screen, it made her movies better. The whole journey of her career is made up of many people doing different things, making her movies memorable. In the song of Bernadette, Frank Riker, son of actor Emmanuel Riker, delivered a notable performance. Vincent Price, who appeared in the movie, showcased his talent by winning $32,000 on the game show The $64,000 Question in 1955. Additionally, Edward Van Sloan, whose career is highlighted in character actors in horror, and science fiction films 1930-1960 by Lawrence Raw added depth to the film. These actors brought their own unique contributions to the production, enriching the overall cinematic experience. In 1943, the Song of Bernadette showcased the talent of Jennifer Jones, an alumna of the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, class of 1939. Similar to fellow five-time nominees Audrey Hepburn, and Anne Bancroft, Jennifer won the Best Actress Oscar on her first nomination, but didn't secure another win on subsequent nominations. William Wythe, despite his role in the stage version of The Moon is Down, was bypassed by Fox, his home studio for the film version. Such decisions shaped the casting and direction of the film, contributing to its overall impact and reception. Vincent Price, known for his iconic roles, faced challenges while recording for Phantom Manor at Euro Disneyland in the early 90s. Initially given a French script, Price's takes were deemed unusable. After three hours of struggle, he received an English version, completing the recording in just two takes. However, his narration was later replaced with French spiel due to a perceived lack of French content. Despite this, Price's evil laugh remains in the attraction to this day. Charlton Heston and Will Smith starred in remakes of Price's films, The Omega Man and I Am Legend, respectively. Heston and Price previously worked together on The Ten Commandments. Patricia Morrison, known for her Broadway work, served as an understudy for Helen Hayes in Victoria Regina, but never got the chance to perform. Instead, the show would halt until Hayes recovered. 